Hey YouTube, Dawson Rider here. Welcome to my review for Kamen Rider Saber episode 45 as we continue to head towards the finale. This was another great episode, really, really good episode. Lots of great memorable action and some good character beats. So last time we were headed off to the final battle and there's a huge array of henchmen to fight. We got all the swordsmen there and we even include Sophia who arrives to transform into Caliber so we can have everybody represented except for Phoenix whose sword is represented but he, there's no transformation for him but she shows up with it. And I always forget that her name is Sophia because I keep calling her Princess Shayla in my head. But that kind of made sense since those two are connected to Wonder World and whatnot and the light and the dark swordsmen and I like that they actually did change the suit to indicate that it was a female rider in there and it was really cool. We get all together henshin sequence, all together lineup of everybody. Um, one of the few times we see Saber's base form, Saber Blade and Blade's base form to be honest. The last time we saw Saber's base form was just for the crossover episode but other than that it's basically been Power Up City since then. But we see them all fight together. You have Caliber and Psycho staying out to fight the people on the outside and then basically as they run through this Stone Canyon area where all kinds of Toku villainy sets up. I think it was used for Helheim. Um, Ryu Soldier used it with Eris. It's been used all the time. We've seen this area a lot, but as they're running through, they keep getting stalked, but stalked, stopped, like a stalked too. Stalked and stopped by the swordsman guys, and then they keep leaving two people behind. So it's Kenzon and Slash, and the brother-sister combo, and then Blades and uh, Buster, until we finally have uh, Kento and Toma, and they each are fighting one, and you kind of go through, you know, they fight, and then they fall down, and then they get their second wind and or power-ups, uh, but there's some really good fights within that. I mean, Kenzon in particular had some great fights. I still hate, hate Kengo. Is it not Kengo? Is his name Kengo? I hate this guy. I hate Kenzon. What's his name? Ren. There we go. I got their names all smushed together. Ren. I still hate him. But he had some good moments in this episode. The, once they got their second wind and he and Slash take out the guy, a uh, really epic fight scene where he's running on the wall and they have the bullet flying through the sword and he scans Decast's book on the Phoenix sword and a really cool scene and it's a good sort of character progression moment for him. Even though I'm not a fan of him, it was kind of a good combination of him getting stronger and it kind of visually represented everything he's gone through in his arc and then he shows up at the end to help Kengo, there we go, uh, so that Toma can go ahead and that's another nice moment, even though I still don't like his character, nice moments there. And then it looks like Slash might be done for, I'm gonna be honest, I'll be shocked if they kill anyone off, but he like heals over and he has a disappearing bandage. I don't remember him having it before they transform. Maybe I'm just not paying attention. But then he has it when he demorphs, and then he doesn't have it again. It's that classic Toku bandage. Like, no matter what injury they get, like their arm gets cut off, somebody calls them a word and they're emotionally wounded, no matter the wound, they always wrap their head up. Like, oh, someone cut my hand off. Can you take care of this nurse? Like, yep, yeah, let's just wrap that head right up. Toku injury. And then you have Buster sort of staying behind to fight the guy so that Blades can go ahead. A uh, nice moment for him where he says, I'm not going to miss my son's graduation. Um, and then amongst this, you also have Interface visiting Storius. Good old, good old, what, Luna. Luna visiting Storius. And she sort of brings about a vision of the other uh, villains that have fallen. And they kind of talk about, like, we started all this by wanting to help the world. What happened? That was a really nice moment and I maybe wish that they had explored these characters more. Like, again, I mentioned in my wrap-up review, I feel like most of the interesting stuff about them came out after they were already killed off and a little bit too late, but it was a really nice moment. I'm still not sure I 100% understand Storius' motivation, other than when you become the primary Toku villain, you have to become an overacting POS. But I guess he just wants chaos for the end of this story. But it was some nice character stuff within that. And May finds Toma's book, and she's disappearing too, I guess. I can't remember why. And she winds up finding Luna later at the end of the episode. And um, also a really cool moment is during the fight, the sort of spirits of the original Saber and Caliber come to support Sophia. Another nice moment. There was, it was kind of almost a parallel. Almost a parallel between that and then the other two um, villains showing up to talk to Storius, like the two spirits of the past. I thought that was kind of cool. And then he's talking about how Luna is the storybook, or at least a part of it, and she chose Toma because he can write new stories that weren't in the book. And all that stuff was good scene stuff in terms of it explained to me why Toma was chosen by Luna and made me understand, like, on an intellectual level. I don't know if that's the right way of saying that. But I still don't believe him, if that makes any sense. Like, I understand in the story, on paper, why he was chosen, but I still don't believe in him. I still see him kind of as a basic, basic, a basic bench, to be honest. 
Um, yeah, I just, just has, that's just me. I'm, this isn't meant to be super down on him, but I'm just saying I understand why they're saying he was chosen, but nothing about um, the performance or his actions uh, make me feel like he's the specialist boy in all the world. I feel like I'm being told while he's, why he's special rather than seeing it, but I just wanted to bring that up as I do give a little bit of exposition there, which was nice. But, and then we end on this really nice scene, again, kind of like last week's episode, where we had this really cool montage of all the swordsmen coming together and the cinemat cinematography was great, and that's what we kind of get this week as we see everyone heading towards the battle and the people that are already in battle and Toma's running to the battle and Storius is kind of narrating it and they have this really awesome some epic music playing over it. It was just a really great setup into the next episode. It just everything about it felt epic and just overall this was a great episode. I'm gonna be great on a little bit of a curve and actually give this one a five out of five because it was honestly whether you like Saber or not or not it was just a great finale arc episode. It had really great action and within that action you did get some character beats that made sense to them even for the villains and it had really memorable fight scenes. That's one thing I'll say about Saber is I think sort of the actions and stunts and like attacks and whatever you want to call it um, have always been really memorable but like the stuff with Kenzon was really cool with memorable fights there and it was just really good, um, really great finale arc episode, so definitely great when I'm looking forward to the next few weeks. Although we're at that point now, I feel like we get to this point around the last five-ish episodes of Rider where I feel like we can wrap it up and there's like, oh, there's like three episodes left or whatever. I'm like, do we need that much time? I feel like we're almost done, right? Not like I'm like, get over with Saber, I hate you, but it's just, that happens in every series. I'm like, do we need that many more episodes? I think we got this. But what did you guys think of this episode? Let me know in the comments as always. Until next time, reflect on, subscribe, and climb the steps and ring that bell. See you in my videos. Dawson Ryder, signing out.